Three. Go! Oh, we're flying! Holy crap, man! Are you serious? I believe I can fly! Look at our guy! He's so what amazing! That is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and thanks playing some more dark and light peeps hope you guys are having a good day i'm having a great day thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today guys make sure if you like the video that you see please don't forget show your support smash smash the thumbs up button if you're new and you haven't already don't forget to subscribe as well so we're back in our hot dark and light action area in the last episode we came we we came we came and tamed Dwayne. Dwayne the Vrock, level 55, hanging out over here, doing stuff and things. Somebody in the comment section said maybe they should have two names. I think that, actually, that's not a terrible idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what we want. Run over here. And we're going to call these guys Dwayne's. Plural. Makes perfect sense. Does There's two of them. All right. So, um, decided to do a little bit of streaming and streamed taming this guy. It was actually really funny because you guys didn't miss a whole heck of a lot. Um, we logged in. There was a hundred and I think fourth level Kebo over here, and he was just hanging out by the base. So it took like I don't remember 80 or 90 of these arrows of our arrow deals in order to bring the guy down. It took quite a while to get him tamed up, and that's pretty much all we did in the stream was tame this guy and uh, ask the stream guys what we should name him. Since he was a Kebo, we decided to name him Kevin. Kevin, the Kebo. So he's unbelievable and amazing. His saddle looks super, super cool, except that we sit on it super, super weird, but that's fine. But this guy is a resource gathering machine. So it's really, it's kind of weird. There has been, look at the smoke off of him, man. Wow. There's been an update recently too. I checked for patch notes, I couldn't find any, but there's definitely been some changes to the audio. I don't know if you just could remember a second ago, we could hear Dwayne's, like you can hear him super good. But you can't hear the Kebo walking anymore, like, very well. And then also, the little clicking noises have gotten louder, I think. So, like, when you're in inventory, I can't actually make too many of them. But, yeah, you just heard it there. So, some of the stuff and things have changed in the game. It's a little bit weird. But, anywho, so let's check out this Kebo. First of all, first and foremost, 2,500 HPs, baby. Just got in a fight with a Griffin, so he's a little bit low. We got 248.4% attack, 650-ish weight. Super unbelievable and amazing. And this guy is all about gathering up those hot resources. Check it out right here, this copper node. Bam! Nailed it, Ace the Cave. He stopped on tons, tons of copper, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do the right click. Zerp! Oh, stonework rank two, baby. So we got the firm wall unlocked. Firm window frame. Archer's firm wall. The firm window. Nailed it. Aced it. Can't be stopped. All right. So we're going to drop a little bit of stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead and just de some of the straw off. And then maybe some of this wood. Because I want to keep our stone stuff and things. Can we can we move now? All right. A little bit better. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we also did a little bit of exploring with Dwayne uh, of the certain of different areas uh, around in here. Is the, Are those rocks like super weird? You guys notice? You guys see that over there? Those rocks are... Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Before it stops raining, go ahead and... Oh. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's fill up our water deal. Um, these guys look weird over here. Right here. Don't they? They're kind of like hanging off the side of the mountain. I don't remember them looking like that before. Yeah, we did a little bit of exploring on Dwayne's. We headed over to the trees down over there. It's actually kind of like a... Well, it's kind of weird. It looks like a little bit of a village. We'll go and visit it eventually. I'll, obviously, you guys will see it. Um... It's a little bit of a village deal, but it's got, like, uh, a lot of spiders in it. So there's all sorts of the spider deals all around inside of there. That's pretty much what we did. We tamed that Kebo. We went over to there and saw those spider deals. If you guys are interested and you don't want to miss the streams, make sure you follow. There's a link in the down there. You can go ahead and follow me on uh, Twitch so you don't miss any of the streams. And uh, if you did miss and you want to see it, it's super easy. The VODs, they call them, which are basically the videos on demand are saved on Twitch for 30 days. You're free to go and watch the stream there right now if you'd like to. All right, so we just unlocked a bunch of the firm stuff and things. And getting firm is what I'm all about. Oh, what is the other thing I want to tell you about? Oh, yeah, um, feeding troughs for taming. So this is feeding trough for taming, right? If we come inside of here, check it out. You can ve very barely see on the top of the Bargesh 
trying to see if there's one you can see really good. On the top of Furs Murder there, you can see there is a trough icon similar to like how Ark would do it. And you would think that, that would mean that these guys would eat off the trough, right? So look at the park. Gesh's food right here. 916 out of 1300. If we pop out here and you look inside of this guy, there's absolutely raw meat in here. So it's kind of weird. It looks like for right now that the bugs, the troughs are bugged out. Um, they work for taming, but they don't work for feeding. So that kind of is a bummer. And I don't know, maybe the stone one works. Wait, did this change? Did you change Magical Workbench? I feel like that book wasn't on it last time. Like I said, I looked for patch notes, but I just couldn't find them. Um, we're doing okay with our house. I feel like we need to kind of expand it a little bit. We definitely want to start to take a look at thinking about getting into farming. Um, we're going to need to get some of those mushrooms. Now, I got to take a look in the swamps. There is a mushrooms biome type deal down over uh, underneath where those trees are. And I went there and I harvested with every single tool that we had and I could not get any mushrooms. So I'm thinking that we might need to take Sniffer out there in order to get those. Or we're going to have to just go ahead and sickle something to get some spores. Because I'm thinking that's what we're going to need. Let me pop inside of here real quick. Let's just take a look at, wait, some of these hot spores that we've got inside of here. Right here. So fungal spores, unidentified fungal spores, plant in a medium or large plot to grow various mushrooms. So I'm feeling like that's like what we're going to have to do. So if you take a look inside of here, we go plot. Right here, we've learned the small plot. Now, if we go into our knowledge, which didn't they used to be called skills? I think they changed it to knowledge. Super, super weird. And we look in uh, farming right here, I think it is. In order to get the next guy, we need to harvest seeds from shrubs or craft farming items. We're going to be able to unlock the medium fertilizer and the medium plot, which we obviously are going to want. Um, I also was taking a look at some of our building stuff and things because I think that eventually we're going to want to expand our house, man. It's not super amazing and awesome. It's, well, okay. <laughs> okay, let's take a step back. It's super amazing and awesome. We, we all know this, but it, it probably needs to be bigger at some point. And we're going to need to like have a place for our animals. It's not like right in the middle. These guys are all crapping in the house and it smells really bad. So um, I was taking a look at some of our other skills or, or pardon me, our canologists. And you can see that it seems that there are higher tiers here of building for, like, castle building, which I think is kind of cool. Castle of Hope Foundation, Castle of Hope Support. We need seven more levels before we'll be able to unlock that. Um, and then we've got stonework right here, but we haven't even lear uh, learned ironwork yet. It looks like we need to get stonework to rank four. We can do that just by crafting up some stuff and things. Now, I'm not sure. The next deal uh, for stonework is the door frame and the door. So what I'm really interested in, oh yeah, here's what we're looking for right here. Giant firm beast gate frame. These guys up top are what we're looking at. And they're super expensive, man. 360 stone. This guy is 360 stone. So like, it's like 720 stone just to make one gate. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of stuff and things to get there, man. So, all right. If we're going to go ahead and look at the mushroom deal, because that's kind of like our next step, right? We've got to get our mushroom deals, start a, a farm deal, get all that going. We need to build some stuff and things. Whoa, this is not what I'm looking for. Knowledge, no way. Inventories, and then we go inside of right here. So we're going to need some of these guys. Water reservoirs. We're going to need some hot pipe action in order to get the water from here to there, hither and fro. Um, we're going to need to to uh, go ahead and get some crop plots going. I want to build a larder box as well. Basically a preserving bin. We need to add silica powder to it in order to preserve stuff and things. But every day when I come into the game, I have to go ahead and like take like half an hour and craft up a bunch of meat because it all spoils. It all spoils in like a day. So those are some of the upgrades. We need to make some upgrades. We got a decent amount of guys in here now. I want to kind of get to the next level. Um, Dwayne's is not a super good fighter. We definitely want to kind of like get to that next level. And I think having those better arrows is going to be... Oh, hello. What level are you, homie? It's going to be a good first step. Where are you going? Don't you want to be friends? You're level 72. Let's be friends. He doesn't like us. Doesn't like us one little bit. So those are kind of like some of the stuff and things we're going to have to do in order to make the next step, in order to take the next stage. So I'm thinking that maybe a little bitty of a farm over in this area right here would be good. Um, I'm thinking as far as expanding the base out, we might eventually... I wish I could get rid of this deal right here. This stupid deal is in the way, man. Um... I don't know, because I don't want to build back here too much because they have really easily accessible uh, iron, copper, and wood from all that area right there. So if we, we're going to end up expanding the base out, we probably will go this way over here a little bit. 
We could do some dino storage over here, too. So that's kind of the plan. I got plans within plans, peeps. And now, I've got to gather up all the stuff and things. Because I want to start making some upgrades, baby. And we're back. Making the conversion from wood to stone. I want my house to be firm. I like a firm house. I also find it super strange that they call it firm. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense, and I feel like they should just call it stone. It's like they tried to find some other name besides stone, and they just couldn't think of anything. So, cobbled would be good. I also made the larder bin, which if you mouse over is called the preserving bin. <laughs> now, it says it needs silica powder. I couldn't quite figure out how to make it. Silica powder is made just by putting wood uh, and stone inside of your forge here. So it's not like a uh, spark powder. You don't put it in the mortar and pestle, but it doesn't seem to be working. Like it doesn't seem to actually do anything. So it says the a desiccant powder derived from stone placed in a larger box to dry and preserve your food. So I placed it in here, but you can see the, the timer on this is at 648. If I move it out of my inventory, it's still at 648, 645. It doesn't seem to be working. And then if you click on this, you can't craft it. Like it doesn't, it's not craftable. So I'm not really sure. It says all you need to put in is cooked meat. And then I'm, you know, like I'm reading the tooltip. It seems to be that I'm doing everything right. I might be, I might not be. But um, yeah, so that's the preserving bit. It doesn't seem to work. Um, also, I did notice that, remember those runes? Actually, I think we were talking about it on the stream. If you look under your knowledge, under light magic, there is actually different levels of runes here. There's a level three light magic rune that takes light stone and uh, magic rock deals in order to make, called the Rune of Radiance. Uh, but that, uh, wasn't able to be crafted until just recently. So, I think I could probably still make some- Oh, that's just the regular Rune of Light. I have the Rune of Radiance down here. It basically looks exactly the same as the Rune of Light. I do believe- Let me see here. Let's just cast one and see. Does it last longer? Uh, I don't think it lasts any longer. I think it's just brighter. The little girl, the little, uh, fairy lady seems to be brighter. But, all right, so we're making the conversion of the stuff and things and moving over to the stones. I have built a bunch of stuff inside of here. Let's go ahead and squirt these on. Let's make the final sh changes. Like so. Oh, it sucks they don't have little windows like the other ones do. Wait, where's this guy want to go? Hold on. Which one did I... Oh, yeah. Like so. There we go. That guy. And then over here. It's really tough. You can't... I can't see where they are. There we go. Like so. And then this guy... Like so. So we got all those guys ready to rock and roll. I also made a couple other different windows. There's kind of two windows. There's the archer's firm wall, which I think is like, I don't know if it's the same as these guys, the firm window frame. So they obviously look different. Let's go ahead and squirt these. Huh. Huh. Squirt this. Oh, wait. I don't even think that made it. Wait, what? Is this even like a thing? Also, whoa, whoa, whoa. That doesn't look half bad, man. Um, we're probably going to tear it down. So that didn't quite work. I did make some of the window... Whoa, stop. And then, okay. I made some of the window deals, too. Let's see. Now, can we squirt these inside of these archer's windows? Oh, crap. I don't think you can. I bet you they only go up inside of there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Hold on a second here, ladies and gentle peeps. Did these even get out of there? Where do the window deals go? I put them inside... <gasps> Sorcery. So I don't even know what the hell just happened there. Let me see here. When duh. Let's go. Let's just craft one of these guys. What is this? An ice wind robe. Looks like a dress. I'm gonna make one. So if I squirt that into my inventory and I put it in that slot. Okay, we got it. Now if we go like this. Yeah, it doesn't fit into those archer deals. It only fits into those windows. So it looks like we're gonna have to craft more windows. We can leave those like that. That's not a bad look. Nah. We might just leave these open. I like the way that those look. They're not very, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. All right, and then the last, last but not least, let's grab these guys and these guys. Let's go ahead and climb up to the top of our deal here. And then we should be able to switch these guys over. It's kind of tough. It's really hard to see if you're actually doing stuff and things. Let me see here too. No, my game is as low as it goes. It's hard to see if like, you know what I mean? You're actually placing it. You're kind of guessing. And then we got these guys, which I'm interested to see because the the sloped roof, the sloped uh, wood ones were so cool looking. I'm going to place these down. You can actually see these. It's a lot easier. Like so. Like so. And this isn't a bad, like, little upgrade for the place. Obviously, we can make it bigger eventually. But um, I want to get it up to stone because 
The griffins in the area have been attacking, baby, and it hasn't been super good for us. So let's just take a step back. Looks like a little bit of a stone keep now. It's not bad. The ceilings need to kind of come up a little bit, I think. All right, now the next order of business. I want to guys show you guys this. Somebody in my stream was telling me that the light magic is actually much, much more powerful. 240 damage, baby, with the level two light spell. Watch this, man. You want some? It's over for you. Nailed it, Ace the KB Stop for our unbelievable, amazing light magician. All right, so let's take a look inside of here. I'm really excited about that. Uh, under air magic. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Where is it? Light magic right here. No, 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 no. Air magic, isn't it? Yeah, this is the one we're trying to get to. So we need air, air magic to be at rank six. At the next rank, we're going to get the magical rune imbued with the element earth to cast. It. Basically, it's a level three weight improvement spell. Um, but I really want to get the level three for fighting stuff and things. Um, we got to figure out how to do the wall of lightning too. But so far, I mean, this thing has been amazingly powerful. Like, way more powerful than any of the tames that we've got. It's only... Oh, I have another one inside here. Let me show you this, man. Let's go down here to this rock elemental. You guys know these rock elementals, man. They were crushing our faces earlier. We're super scared of them. What level are you, guy? Level 36. Earth elemental. Let's get a little bit of distance. Take that! And then one of those! And then one of these! And then that! And then take that with your butt! And then... Wow, he's not even moving. Okay. He doesn't even care. Switch to the new gun. Go, 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 go! Oh my god. It's only level 36. There, we did it. Nailed it, Ace the KB Stop. We killed it, man! Like, it's totally doable. Totally killable. So, um, we can harvest stuff and things from this somehow. Stone. I wonder if... No? Not that. Uh, what if we go like so... I gotta figure out how to harvest these elements from these guys. If we go like this? That's not it either. Uh, six? Okay. No, those are like the trees and those deals around here. Uh, this guy? I gotta figure out how to harvest... The... Oh, there it is! There it is! There it is! Wait, let's try this again. No, 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 no. This guy right here. This is what we're looking for. Earth element. Oh, that's good stuff, baby. Oh, yeah! Tons and tons of it, baby! Harvest! Harvest! Give me earth element. We're running low on water. Drink a little bit of drink. So, if I'm not mistaken, the earth element's gonna allow us to power that Jenny, I think. We've got to figure out how to do that, though. I want to get as much as we can. How much can we even get from this guy? Look at all our stuff going up. Staff enchanting framework, manor framework, and thermaturgy are all going up. A super high amount, too. So, we just kind of made some technological advancements. A little bit of unbelievable advancements. Um, our staff is super powerful now. I'm really excited about being able to do magic damage to stuff. Like, I like that you don't have to use dinos. Like, so far, there isn't any dino that I've got that does that much damage. I say dinos, creatures, creatures. So that's pretty cool stuff. Let's pop inside of here real quick and take a look. Let's go ahead and A those bad boys inside of there. Now, what we're looking for is if we type in element. Oh, what's this guy? Celestial staff, an ornate stargazer staff. Equip this magic weapon to cast your equipped combat spells. We need copper ingots and magic essence. Now, if you remember, we're really hoping that they change the rest. Oh, we have the magic essence. Oh, oh. We no, 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 no. Let me see here. I wonder if this will do more damage. We just need iron ingots, which we have. Hold on a second. Let's craft this guy up right now. All right. Uh, Give me half of these bad hombres. Squirt over here like so. Just popping it into there. Uh, Celestial deal. Oh, this is what we're looking for right here. The earth essence. Let's craft up 10, 20 of those. Let's take this guy. This is our new deal. We don't want the druid staff. We want the earth staff deal. Oh, wait. Hold on a second here. Do you see there's a bar at the top of this? I wonder why that is. Hmm. So, if we take and have that equipped there, if we go like this to a new staff, it keeps the same spell. Okay, I was wondering if you could do that, if you could run two spells and two different staffs. So, this guy looks cool, man. Look at this cool staff. Oh, it feels way more powerful. So let's actually take a look and see. I think we can see cold resist. Can we see how much damage this does? 
It just says magic proof spell pan and spell pan and damage five. Oh, oh, I think this is gonna do more damage now. Very, very interesting stuff and things, peeps. So I feel like if we could find something to kill, this guy would do more damage. Now, we're gonna do more damage to something that's not a rock elemental anyway. But I know that the level two spell on these um, Kevos was doing around 240 damage. I just want to check his level real quick before I start to go, because if he's really high, I don't want to get crushed. All right, he's 44. Let's pop over here. Oh, it's just 160 still. It doesn't seem to make a difference. Okay, 160. Let's equip this guy. It's not even hurting him. 160. That sucks. It does the same amount of damage. It seems to, at least, with this spell. There we go, baby. We killed him. Nailed it. Ace the cape stuff. Actually, can we get fur from this guy? Because that's going to help us to get to the next level of our stuff and things. So, anyway, some of the technological advancements we made. We moved into stone stuff. I don't think we're going to get any of that stuff and things with this guy. Let me just go like this. There we go. No fur to be gotten. But you can see, we got the next level of lightning magic stuff and things going on. We got some new stonework stuff and things going on. Oh, let's go ahead and head back over here real quick. Go into my inventories here and let's uh, drop it like it's hot. All this garbo. We can always get more. Don't really need meat. Don't really need this. Don't really need these. All right, let's drop a little bit of wood too. So let's go ahead and take a look at the generator and see if we can get this thing to work with the earth essence. Also, I'm feeling like... I got to take a look and see what the resistances are to stuff. Like, if air is... You know what I mean? Like, it's like, is air... Is earth magic kill air creatures and stuff? Things like that? Because we might want to go ahead and try to get a different kind of essence. But now, if we can get this stuff... What is it even called? Yeah, earth essence. Pop it into our inventory here. Let's go over to our little generator deal. Squirt this inside of here. Bam. Light fire. Is that it? Oh, it's lit up! It's all lit up and it's unbelievable and amazing! Got it. Wait, whoa. Okay. Looks like it's doing stuff and things. But did that change our little guy up here? Let's take a look and see. Our element tower has ammo in it. I can't tell if it's, like, on or not, though. Faction protection off. So, can't protection turn on? Hmm. Turn on. Oh! That's it? It just opens up its little deal? That's all it does? Uh, tamed or... Wait. Players or tamed creatures only? Only players. All targets. Oh, we can't do wild? That sucks. Because then if somebody's not in my house and they come over here, this will hurt them. Pick up elemental tower. Insufficient... What? Insufficient resources to repair. Okay. Demolish. Increase. Elemental attunement. So we can go inside of there. Can we like... Okay. 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 I get this now. Harmonic elements. So it only has one deal because it's being powered by the generator that's giving it the earth elemental stuff and things. So it says... Elemental energy arb. God, this game is so brand new. Oh, there it goes. It's doing it, man. Look at our little deal. That's what I'm talking about. Super crystal bally, baby. That looks super neat. You guys, think. look at all the stuff we've done today so far. It's an amazing day. We got all sorts of cool new stuff going on in our base. We got teleportation powers, evidently. We got the new stonework stuff and things going. Oh, my God. I'm excited about this, baby. We got to build some better stuff and things. We need two doors. We need better windows. And I want to finish my little walkway out here, too. I want to have a little bit of a, you know what I mean? A porch. We got to get a porch going, man. And hey, we're back with our new patio deal. It's so probably awesome. Also, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Why is it light out? There's been some weird stuff things that have gone on since the update. Why can't you finish your drink, Dwayne? So move Dwayne out here, Sniffer, the deer, and the Bargesher all out here. First murder, I figure we'll just leave him right there for nowsies. We got this super cool balcony built. I also built two more of the elemental towers. And I figured out how to get the extra elements going here. So this is what I ended up doing. I just ended up building a second generator. I tried putting the uh, stuff and things directly into the tower. That didn't work. So 
I decided just to build a second generator. It looks like this stuff... Oh, crap. I just fired it up. Wow, it seems to last a really long time. So we'll have to see how long it lasts. But I got all these on, and I got them targeting all targets because the other options are player or tamed creatures or, I think, players only. So in order to attack wild stuff and things, we're going to have to have them on all targets. So hopefully nobody that's not inside of the... Well, I don't think anybody else has joined up with our guild. We need to, like, get one guild going on the server so nobody gets attacked by anybody else's stuff and things. But, yeah, so we got our two generators. But there's something else that I wanted to show you guys. Something that's kind of unbelievable and amazing. Let's go ahead and grab that and that. And I'm going to need some hot twine action, which I hope I have some more of in my workbench here. Pretty sure I should have enough. So there's another item that I just got access to. Gula Eider, baby. Nails and ace to give stuff. Oh, yeah. The hang glider and ingenious flying contraption. Use this to take off, to take a leap of faith off a cliff and ride the skies. We've got to see what this is all about. So does it get like, hold on a second here. What if we, oh, the morning music is here. So I don't think, oh, is somebody attacking something? I want to see what those work like. I want to see if they do enough damage to actually kill something. Um, so, yeah, the hang glider. It doesn't look like we equip it. It looks like that we use it. We're going to have to take a leap of faith here to see if this is going to work. Let's go ahead and climb up to the top of our amazing tower here. I can't remember if you guys saw or not. There's a dragon that lands here that's like a transport dragon. We'll show you. You'll see it eventually. You'll see it eventually. All right, so I feel like we just would use it like a parachute. We would just jump and then hit it, I think. And then it's going to allow us to glide. Let's just double check here. We can't, like, equip it. Let's just see here. Use this to take a leap of faith. Faith, fly off. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So, uh, I don't know. We've, I feel like we'll be okay. Let's go. All right. I'll count it down. Three. Go. Oh, we're flying. Holy crap, man. Are you serious? I believe I can fry. Look at our guy. He's so amazing. Look how amazing it is. How far down does it go? Now, can we like... It doesn't look like we can make it go down or forward or back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so if you push like backwards, it just switches direction. Interesting. Look how amazing it is. Hold on. Let's go over here. Good, good background. You guys, this is so much better than a parachute. Oh, no. We could go a really long distance, man. You could go really, really far. What happens if you hit a tree? Let's go ahead and do a test. Oh, you just go right through it. Screw the tree. Oh. Okay, so it looks like you can hit a tree. I don't want to go super far. I don't want to be too far away from my base. Now, I'm also interested to find out what happens when we land. Does it use it up? Which would be silly considering that... You know what I mean? Why would it be single use? Um, God, this thing's amazing. I want to just go down faster. Is there a way to do it? Look at this. Oh, it like folded up and everything. Crap. It is single use. Unfortunate. All right, let's switch like this. Go like one of these right here and... Yeah! Suck it, sheep. So that was pretty crazy, man. That was pretty cool. I got to tell you, man, every little teeny thing that we keep doing, like those little towers, like every technological advancement we make... Just kind of makes it better and better. I'm so excited. We got a lot of really good teams now. Allowed me to get a lot more resource gathering stuff and that stuff. stuff and things done. Because we have Kevin. We got a brand new house stuff and things. It was a good day, man. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Hope you liked the episode. I know I did. Make sure if you liked the video, please don't forget. Show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.